I'm going to run through this creation of the bell curve and histogram chart creation very quickly. First of all, I set up these labels and formulas. And the next step, what I'll do is I'll center and change the widths. Then after that, I'll enter the target mean and deviation numbers and create a column A, 1 through 500, so that target mean is there and there. So the st next step is I want to create this random formula and uh, click on there and then drag across and then double click there and it will range those all the way down. While that's highlighted, you can go ahead and change the color of that and it'll be a lot easier than trying to re-highlight those. And next you want to create the z-scores from minus 4 to plus 4 in 0.5 increments. And then uh, we'll create the bins formulas using that formula. The next one will create the normal s disk using that formula right there. Uh, the next one we will create the PDF or probability distribution function that's created through there. And then we'll use that to create the bulk curve. We actually multiply the uh, PDF times the data count. And next is the frequency. This one takes a little bit of time. I've had to go through it five or six times for me to be able to do it myself. So be patient with yourself and go by these instructions. Uh, the next one is enter the values in F6 through F21. Yes, short, and for all others. They're up there. So you have that one. Okay, 13. Next, you want to select the cells and background colors and change that. And also do the headers and labels. And then we'll start creating highlighted areas and do use the shortcut alternate H9 in order to center them. And then we're going to do a little bit more formatting. And uh, <coughs> if you notice, every time you press the F9 key, it will change the values automatically in that random formula. Next, you're going to highlight the cells uh, and then uh, create your bell curve and frequency columns. Zero is bell curve and frequency columns. And when you do that, do alternate in and in, and you will create the chart. Follow those instructions, and you'll uh, start naming them there. <coughs> then you want to set up the different types of charts. <coughs> Excuse me. And then when you set up the different types of charts, you want to start uh, formatting a little bit and you'll start formatting a little more using these shortcuts. It's uh, explanatory there. And this right here makes you sure, make sure that you have the right uh, horizontal axis for those. Make sure those are correct. On this one, you want to format the horizontal category axis values. So that's going to format those right there so that they're a little bit more appealing by putting at 270 degrees in the text direction you want to change to that right there. So it runs up like that. Next you want to bold the secondary horizontal category axis, those up at the top. And it'll look like that. And the secondary horizontal axis tick marks, you want to turn it into a cross and black in 1.25. So you do that and it will end up looking like that. Formatting the histogram bars with color and border. So when you do all this, when you do these instructions, it will look like this. There won't be any spaces there. And so next we want to format the bell curve and it will look like that. It'll be nice and smooth and a little bit thicker. After that, you want to create creating and formatting text boxes within the chart. This is pretty nice because it gives you some identification of what the values are looking like if you wanted to put that on by itself. And if you look at that, it shows the, the mean, and every time I press F9, it will show you the, the ranges and also the mean and the deviation every time I press F9 to change it. And so here we have data modeling. I've set it up for 200, and if you notice, the range goes from 189 to 212, and if I 
shorten that if I've changed the deviation to say something ridiculous like 0.25 it's going to make it a lot shorter. It's going to make it a really close in there. So this is really good for data modeling trials. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed my video.